Hi everyone. So once again, I have another haul. This time it's the R Atelier subscription boxes. I have three months worth here that I need to go through. As you can see, I have not opened them. I took the card off that usually has um, my full name on there because I don't want to disclose that. So let's go ahead and get started. I will start with this one since it's Jane Austen. Letters of Jane Austen. Okay. Well, let me snip that off as well. Oh, there we go. So, oops. let's see what we got from Rosie. Okay, here is the card that she always includes. It's Victorian art and literature is the theme. Okay, first off, we'll start with washi. And this one looks like it's going to be a really nice one. I like, oh, there are two. Okay. Uh, so I have here some very vintage looking washi. I love the music one. And of course we have the alphabet. I have plenty of ones like that, but I like this music one. Okay. We have a stamp block, which I always love to get. So this one just looks like, come on, focus. There we go. Looks like some, I guess, an old letter. It's really faded, but it doesn't look like it's that faded on here. So I'm going to test it out. All right. And as always, you get a ton of ephemera. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and sit down here. So these are, looks like book covers from Jane Austen's um, books on some really thick cardstock. My favorite packs here, full of small pieces. Put that there for right now. Um, let's do this on camera closer. Trying to, well, I'm gonna have to pull it out this way. Okay, so we'll just do it like that. So we've got a lot of small pieces here. Look at that. All from the Victorian age. I love this fashion. More bits and bobs, as they would say, small pieces. Pride and Prejudice, with that, more fashion pieces. I love the hats. And then they've got that right there. How to form a small library. Okay, and then we've got some bigger pieces here. That's cute. Masquerade, what else? Oh gosh, there's even more. Hold on, let me put this back. Look at that. Stickers. More stickers. For anybody that is a book lover into old literature, this is definitely the set for you. And I know that Rosie's been advertising on Instagram and Facebook um, of all the uh, old well, the extra sets that she still has that are for still for sale. Some of them, I think, have been discounted, too. So you should definitely check out her Instagram and her Facebook. Um, so if you missed a certain month and there's a theme that you like, you might be able to go ahead and get it. So we've got, this is on a heavy cardstock. Got some portraits, some note cards. Men's fashion now, which is interesting. Oh, look at that, scenes. I can't even imagine having to have dressed this way back then. We've got, oops, looks like letters. Let me put that down. Old letters. Here's the 
August. I don't remember that being in August, though. More of the um, notes, and then we've got these. And then these all here are usually like tags. Oops. Well, I don't know where that went. Um, yeah, so let's put this back. There's some acetate um, pieces in here too. Oh my goodness, it's not going in. There we go. Okay. All right, and then we've got two more things. We have the stamp set, which has got some great images. Let me do it this way so you can see it better. And then this one has like some lace, some, I'm not even going to bother because it's going to be too hard to like put it back. Um, lace, some, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's some like vellum in here and then the handmade paper and other stuff. So that's what was in the Victorian um, literature box. Oh, wait. I usually like to put this. Well, it's not going to fit. I have to cut it down. I usually put them in there. So then I know when I open it what box it was. So next box we got here is the... Kind of hard to tell. based off of that. Hold on. Okay. Age of Discovery. So we've got the Big Washi, which I always love maps. So. Really big nice and thick we've got two three yeah the usual oh actually i forgot to put this back hold on i know i'm really particular about their stuff like like this like do you always have to put it back <laughs> i do okay so <clears throat> wonderfully colored look at that very thick cardstock really great images and we've got the envelope of ephemera the way she packs these is really nice okay so we've got like this right here, which would show the scenes of like, I guess the animals from the various places that they, oh, I didn't even realize I was not in focus, sorry. The places that they discovered. And this is like on a very smooth, um, shiny type of sticker paper. Okay. got lots of these. I'm trying to pull it out to where it's not everything's going to fall out. See, it's so packaged so nicely that it's kind of hard to pull it all out. Ugh. Come on. Without messing everything up. Okay. Now I've messed everything up. Well, all right. So let's pull this up. Okay, so we've got some little s pieces here. I don't know who's texting me. October. Let's see. Bibliotech Voyages. And there's like a lot of like small pieces, vellum stickers. Nope. See, one just fell. More tags. 
you've got a lot of this on handmade paper and it's got gold flecks on it. And this one right here, I'm only going to pull it out, but I'm not going to really go through it because it's a bunch of tags and they're going to fall all over the place. And then we've got this one here of probably, who knows, Magellan, I'm not sure. So, yeah. And then the last thing here I'm not even pulling out is like a map of, I have no idea, Spain? No. <laughs> Portugal? Who knows? Anyways, I love all these little pieces. I always use them when I'm, I'm in the mood to, you know, create something in a junk journal. So, okay. We got that. Then we have this one here. You know, I don't even want to pull it out anymore. It's just too much with the amount of stuff, but you can see it's a lot of maps and um scenes okay we've got two she's really upped it we've got two sets of um stick uh, stamps so we've got this one i gotta make sure we're in focus here i like these and then we've got this one here there you go and of course, the last one, which I'm not going to pull out because that's just it's giving me too much, um, with the handmade paper and then it looks like maps. Yeah. So that is the last box. Um, I did not purchase the December box because it was the Nutcracker and I'm just not interested in the Nutcracker, but I'm definitely going to purchase the January box. I know it's already... February. Um, I think she was late in putting it out. So I'm trying to remember what the theme was, but I can't offhand. Um, you know, Rosie always does such an astounding job when it comes to putting, crafting, putting together her boxes. And she gives you so much for what you pay for. I mean, it's $33. And look at the amount of stuff that I got. So... I'm just so pleased with what, um, you know, with what she, she offers. So that is, oh, I thought I was done. Sorry. It's not the last box. I still have one more, the steam pug. This one I was really excited about because I don't think she's ever done this type of theme before. Okay. So I'm going to kind of go through this really fast. I'm getting hot. The heater is on and I don't know why it's set so high because it's really a, it's like 60 something degrees today. We just had an ice storm. We had a round of ice storms this past week. So um, now it's warming up. There's like no more ice left. Okay. So the age of steampunk. Okay. That's the first thing we have here. What is this? Oh, okay. I've just never seen a washi in a box before. Nice. Look at that. Oops. Sorry. Not in focus. Okay. There we go. This is really nice for a journal. So. I was a little thrown off by that. Then we've got the cards. thinking of Jules Verge, Ver, Vern, I'm sorry, Jules Verne. Yeah. Especially with this. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully this video is not going to be too long. I'm trying to get through this. All right. So, wow. This is a really 
heavy stack of ephemera. I mean, you can see that. And once again, it's the way she's packed it. It's going to make it really difficult for me to pull out and put all back in. I've got some tickets there. Let's see, it's getting hard. Yeah, it's a lot of little stuff. And I'm sure on the back, there's even more little stuff. Yeah, there is, as you can see right there. There's a ton. And I honestly, I just don't want to pull it out. It's just going to be too much to have to put back in. Same thing with this one right here. This one is got, sorry if it's not in focus, a lot of like small pieces and images. I'm sure it's all stickers. And we've got, I'm sorry, the battery went dead. <laughs> so I think I left off right here where I was talking about this envelope that has a lot of like the, probably the, um, the other, I can't even think now, um, the other smaller pieces, sticker pieces and stuff, other labels or um, tags. And then we've got the stamp set here. Let me see if I can find, yeah. If I can, nope, that's not good. Hold on. I need, there we go. There we go. Okay. So these, this is the stamp set. Wait. No wonder why. <laughs> okay. So we've got that. And then, an, oh, I didn't realize there was another set. So, here we go. Look at that, with the boat. That's awesome. And I like that, with, and the balloon. And then we've got the big pieces here with like probably like the maps and you know, various, I'm sorry, that was my microphone, various things. So that's it. That was the box for steampunk. Ugh. So those are the last three months of um, our atelier um, subscription boxes that I got. What am I missing here? Oh, the box. I was like wondering where was the washi and I keep forgetting it was in a box. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it seems like I'm just trying to rush through, but I am just sweating the death here <laughs> trying filming this and I need to go and turn the thermostat down. I don't know why it's set so high. All right, so there we go. <laughs> like I said, I hope everyone's had a great weekend and I'll catch you on the next video. Okay, bye. Thank you.